Let's build a car rim. First, I want to set up my grid. I want to make sure my grid is in inches. And I want my grid, that's the linear snap, or the amount that my cursor will jump to be 0.25 inches. I went to the internet and I found a rim. If you look at a cross section of it, what we're going to do is we're going to build just half of this cross section and then we'll revolve it. So it'll look something like this, or at least this concept. First, let's get this view to the top and centered. I'm holding down my roller on my mouse to pan back and forth like this. Next, let's start a polyline. I'm going to click here and I'm going to go up to here and angle here and there. Now, I'm going to do an offset. I want to offset this 0.2 inches. Now I need to create the other fin. Bring it off right about here to here and here. And now again, to save time, I'm going to use that offset command. Point 0.2 inches. Now you can see my line extended over. I'll clean that up by using the trim command. And I want to trim that and that. Now I want to complete my sketch. So that there are no open areas. Now I'm ready to revolve. Here's the revolve command. Profile. I'll select that. And now the axis, I'm going to go down here and right mouse click to 3D it. You can see I'm ready to revolve. I'm going to pull that out a little bit and now I'm going to complete it 360 degrees to form a complete circular pattern. Now I want to hide sketches and turn my grid visibility off. I double click the roller mouse and it centers it. Next, let's create a center hub. To do that, I click circle, I select here, and we go that far. Return. Select that. I'm going to extrude this up just a little ways. And that circle that I used to extrude with, I'm going to delete that. Let's put some bolts. I'm going to use a polygon. I'm going to select this surface here. I'm going to create the bolt out here. And extrude it. The reason I created it out here is now it recognizes it as its own solid and I can add material properties to this solid apart from this solid now. Now let's just move this into place and now my lines that I can delete. I'm going to assign a material property to this right away of iron. I'm going to make sure this overlay is unchecked, otherwise it overlays a color if you want to tweak that color a little bit. I like to go just natural. And now I want to duplicate this in a pattern, in a circular pattern. Click this, my solid, and now the axis. I'm going to use this center hub. And this is a five bolt. And now finally, let's assign this 
the color of chrome. I want to dress this up just a little bit. I could stop here. But I like in this picture how there's a spoke pattern. So to do that, I'm going to create a sketch on this surface up here. And I'm going to flatten this out. Now I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to go up to here, here. finished. Now I want to put a little curve in these points. So I'm going to use the sketch fillet command. I'm going to select that corner there and I want to do it again to this one here. Next I want to do a circular pattern this. But to do that, I need to establish a midpoint. So I'm going to put a circle here. I'm going to select this. Circular pattern. I'm going to hold the shift key down so I can select all of these lines at the same time. And now my center point, I'm going to use that circle. And I want to have, well, let's say, five of these. Hit return. Oh, looking good. We're almost done. Almost done. I'm going to delete this circle in the middle. And now I'm going to hold the shift key. I'm going to select each one of these in the center so that they turn different color, they're blue. And now I'm going to extrude into and all the way through. There. Hide my sketch. An awesome looking chrome rim.